Hi everybody, Bean Meister 22 here. Hey, today we're going to look at a giant house spider. That's right, these really big scary looking spiders. Yeah, I hate them. Found this one in the bathtub. Creepy, huh? Not only are we going to look at it, we're looking at it under a microscope. So we're using the KK Moon video microscope today and we're going to get a close-up, eye-to-eye view of a giant house spider. Yes, I know it's creepy, but maybe if you get a closer look at them, they won't creep you out or scare you as much. Or the exact opposite might happen. You get a closer look at them, you might be even more creeped out by them. So let's uh, watch this video. Ugh. Hope it doesn't escape, huh? What do you think? Creepy, not creepy. Yeah, I know it's creepy. If you if you say it's not creepy, I know you're lying. <laughs> All right, yes, yeah, so, you know, I really don't like these spiders. Um, this is the second one I found in this new place. I made another video where we talked about the jumping spiders been finding around here. A lot of jumping spiders in here. Don't know where they came from, whether they were indigenous to this apartment we moved into. Or if they possibly got into our box of stuff we had in storage after the house fire. So yeah, I don't know where the jumping spiders are coming from. And that brings me to one other really quick point. They say giant house spiders are good because they're supposed to eat or scare away the dangerous spiders. And they say jumping spiders are good because they attack and eat other spiders. So what happens when you have two supposedly good spiders living in your place? Yeah, is it doubly good or is it doubly creepy? I would say it's doubly creepy. All right, so leave your comments in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.